All right, so the next thing we want to do is generalize this. And so what we've done here is the first order one. And the general form of the equation is the same thing that we've seen before. We, we'd say fn of x equals, uh, all right, so we would have a naught plus a1x uh, plus a2x squared plus dot 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 a n x to the n. All right, so that's the general form. And what we've done here already is the linear, the linear form. So as we've done the linear, that means we've just done uh, this part, this part, right, the f1. That was the linear part. So then we can add a term and quadratic and, and, and so forth. But I just wanted to scroll over to this equation. So this is what the equation looked like for the linear term. So we had f of x, and then this this doesn't look much like an a naught, right? And this this doesn't this this doesn't quite look right, but but we can rearrange it so that we have one term is an a naught and the other term is an, is an a one. Um, but rather than rearrange it that way, we're going to rearrange it another way that's really convenient to work with. And so that the, the whole way that we're going to represent these, this is actually called uh, Newton's interpolating polynomials. And so we rewrite this uh, initial equation, f of x n, we, or f n of x, we rewrite that to say f n of x, so same thing on the left hand side, but then we say that is equal to b naught plus b1, and instead of having an x there, we're going to put it in this form, x minus x naught plus b2, x minus x1. Uh, well, no, it's going to be x minus x naught, uh, x minus x naught times x minus x1, and then it's going to add, so plus, uh, and I'm going to put my b3 here, and well it'll be plus all the way to bn uh, x minus x naught x minus whatever right all the way to all the way to uh, x minus x of x n minus 1 and yeah, so that's that's going to be the general form that we're going to put it in. So we've got this this difference, and so that's why this is called. Anyway, so these are these are Newton's uh, Newton's divided difference interpolating polynomials, and so you can see these these differences here. But the division is going to show up here, and so uh, our b naught, so b naught equals, and it's going to have to be. So we're setting up what these b coefficients are because we. We don't know any a's or b's or anything. It's all in terms of x's. And so if we look, we should be able to see what our b naught is because that's just this added term here. So our b naught is just going to be f of x naught. All right, and so now we need our b1. b1 is equal to, well, that's just equal to this term. It, it, it happens to be the slope. But b naught is equal to then f of x1 minus f of x naught all over x1 minus x naught. And the nice thing about this, just point out here, is that it is a constant, right? It is a constant because it does not depend on x. This this whole term here, this term here, this b naught or this b1 term doesn't depend on x. Uh, this this b1 term or this b naught term also doesn't depend on x. It depends on it depends on our, our x uh, one and our x naught, but it doesn't depend on on our x, which which may vary, right? We're representing it in terms of x. Okay, so then uh, so there's b naught b1, uh, and then we keep going and we use this we use this um, this notation. Um, so we we use this notation of f, and then we use the square bracket, x1, comma, x0.
okay and what that means is that we're we're putting into here our uh, our x1 and our x0 we're, we're we're doing this divided difference thing with x1 and x0 okay if that makes any sense because maybe this will help so we go b2 then equals f uh, and then square bracket x2 x1 x0 so that's um, that's how it works and so that's going to just equal uh, f square bracket x1 uh, well let's see well I, I don't think the order matters x1 minus x not well let's just go ahead and go I don't know why why not x2 uh, minus well not minus f x2 x1 minus f x1 x not all over x um, let's see it'd be x2 minus x um, not okay there we go so um, so this is this is this is for two and then it goes on in general and and, and so in general then it's it's b uh, b n equals f square bracket x n x n minus one dot 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 x one x naught okay so that's it and and then we could write that out right we could write that out and it would just be uh, it would just be written out like well I mean it's just going to be um, we would write it out f we we have to use use all of them so it would have a whole bunch of terms here right it would have half the terms here in this first one and then in the second one and and, and you see we're, we're dividing the two of them so um, well I mean I can write it out let's see f x n to x one okay minus f x n minus one all the way to x naught okay so you can see that's then that's what we're doing and then we divide that by x n minus x naught so that'll be our last b and so again look this is the exact same equation here this is the exact same f f1 of x is equal to this uh, fn of x so it just generalizes it it's the exact same equation and so this is just the polynomial interpolation polynomial interpolation this is a general form of polynomial interpolation and specifically again this is called uh, Newton's interpolating polynomial or you might or they call it the complete name they use for it is Newton's uh, divided difference difference interpolating polynomial okay so that's what we've talked about so far